Hey guys, um, I'm going to be showing you a tutorial in GIMP on how to make a YouTube background. So first of all, get GIMP2. Um, it's a free uh, piece of software from the internet. Just Google GIMP2. And yeah, it's a really nice program. Um, it's free, open source, and I really like it for what I'm going to be doing, which is making an abstract background for my YouTube background. So, go to File. I don't know what that was. File, New. Um, this is the setting I used. 1000 by 3700. It can be 4000. It can be 3500. Just make it around here. Click OK. Um, so then you have this very narrow and long <laughs> image. So I'm going to make the background black. And then once you have that, you're going to make at least two layers. And make sure when you do the layers, you have transparency set. Okay. So I'm going to go to layer one and go to tools. Or no, filters. I haven't done this for a while nature, flame. Over here, uh, you're going to choose two colors that you really like. Uh, I'm going to do orange just because I can purple. Yeah, that'll be cool. Go back, go back to it. Okay. So, you're going to want to go to edit. And you're going to find some cool shapes that you like. This, this to me looks pretty cool. I'm lucky I just got it on the first try and I like it. Um, yeah, that one looks better. So you're going to go to camera and you're going to zoom this in. And you're going to move it to the position that you want it. I'm going to move it as far up as I can and change the brightness to about somewhere between 1 and 2 and then you click OK this is going to take a while as you can see down here so I don't want you guys to be wasted by the time so I'll be back with the video it's back and as you can see right here this is the shape that we just made um, you can zoom in and examine it closer. It's like a fractal image if you know what those are. Um, but that's kind of plain. We need more than that. So if you want to, you can click on that layer, and click this, and then you can move it to really wherever you want. Be careful because you can grab other layers too. See, I grab the background layer. So you can just move that to wherever you want. I think right there is pretty pretty good. It's at the top. Actually, I'm going to move it down a little bit. Right there. Okay. Now, since we have one, and we have this whole bottom part, we need something down here too. So, click your second layer. And since I like, I guess, mixing stuff up, uh, I'm going to do a blue and a nice deep red color yeah. filters, render, nature, flame see as you can see that's what it would look like if you did it in those colors and if you want to you can actually save the preset um, huh. yeah you can save it so let's do uh, Google shape and then it'll save it but it's not the greatest and I kind of want something else so the better thing to do would probably oh, that'd be fine just go to randomize I'm going to zoom this out and move it downwards because it needs that there, okay. Now you can see some more shapes. 
Um, if you change the speed, it's how different they are from each other. But if you move it down, see this is them that are really close. So if you want to get a more exact one, you can, you know, click on the ones and get however you like it. But I like having the speed at like the highest, and these are the different kinds you can have. Um, they're all just random generated things with a certain algorithm. I don't know exactly what, but they're all really cool. I think I'm going to do one of these because I need something more. That's kind of cool. Move the speed down so I get more similar to it. Um, that will work just fine. So we're going to zoom this in, and I'm not the greatest at this too, um, I only do this for fun, so you guys can take more time or less time depending on how much you care about it. This is just going to be a background for my YouTube and it's, it's pretty cool but it's not the most important, I'm not paying for this. And again, it's going to take a long time to render. Make sure you had it on the second layer. If I didn't, man, I'm screwed because it's going to take a long, long time to render again. But uh, I'll get back to you and you'll be able to see the almost finished product. Bye. Okay, the uh, image is now there. <laughs> it only took like 10 minutes. <laughs> I don't have the greatest computer, but if you have a decent computer, then it won't take quite as long. But, again, you can move this around to wherever you want it. Um, I'll just have it where it originally was. And then you can go in and see if it looks all good. Pretend like it'll be your YouTube background, and then you'll just be like, hmm. This is a kind of blank area, but... I'm too lazy. Down here it's pretty cool. Okay. I think it looks pretty nice. File, save as, save it to your desktop. Um, make sure it's a .jpg. I'm going to name it um, YouTube Background 1.jpg and can't support uh, transparency but that doesn't matter because it's just going to merge all the layers together and quality it doesn't really matter I'll just do 50 because I want to make sure the file is not too large okay so then you're going to want to go to YouTube um, this is my profile right now that's my background you're going to want to go to themes and colors. Um, I'm going to make a new one. Um, I'll just do electronics too because I really don't care. Um, and click delete. Click choose file. Yes. Those are my pictures on my desktop. Okay. And can't really see it, but it is definitely there. Um, it kind of repeated sideways because maybe a thousand wasn't the greatest. But you could always change that to however you want it. Um, I think it actually fills it in more. I'm probably going to make the transparency a little bit higher, maybe 50%. I think it looks fine. I might go back in and edit some more. But, uh, sorry about what I did, but I think it looks cool. Um, hopefully, you get some good ideas. Maybe post a video response on yours. Um, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.